Hi everybody, Nadza here and today we're gonna take a look at how to set up pixel streaming for remote access. I didn't find many guides about that. Uh, once you learn the few things you have to set up, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, I thought I could, I could help <clears throat> doing this video, so uh, let's have a look. So here we have uh, a little project of mine. Um, we are gonna use this uh, little scene and set up the project and uh, pack it and prepare it for pixel streaming. So let's exit the game and. Um, the first things to do is to um, go to plugin, built-in plugins, look for pixel and enable pixel streaming. Um, it will ask you the editor to restart. I already did, did that. So after starting uh, the project, um, a uh, pretty nice thing to do is to go to project settings, inputs, and enable the always show touch interface, um, especially for pixel streaming projects. Uh, the nice thing is that the calculation and uh, is done locally on your machine, but everybody with the address, uh, with the web address, can access your your game, your project. Uh, on any device, mobile, uh, tablets, and other computers. So, enabling the touch interface and forcing to show, uh, it's uh, let us um, play easily your your creation on on touch interfaces. So uh, we enable this one, and then we just need to pack for Windows 64 bit and uh, wait for it. Uh, in the editor we are done. Uh, as you can see it's easy, nothing else to do. This is the right folder so pack it and I will be back when the project is completely packed. So the packing is finished and let's go to the folder where we saved our package this is our windows no editor and inside is our project packed for uh, pixel streaming so what we need to do is to follow these folders now engine source programs pixel streaming web servers and sig signaling web server uh, they changed, Epic changed a bit uh, how pixel streaming works in 4.24. Uh, the setup is a little bit more straightforward. You need less steps in order to work also remotely. So let's see how it works. Um, what I usually like to do is to uh, immediately make a copy of this uh, PS1 file. Um, and call it backup so if anything goes wrong we can always go back to the um, standard configuration and so everything else it's already mapped to the signaling server no backup version so we can mess around with this file and configure our pixel streaming service so let's open it in uh, Sublime and um, what we need to uh, set up is this part here. Uh, in order to work we need a stun and a turn server. <clears throat> For a stun server we can use uh, a lot of uh, freely available servers online. I will leave in the description the link to this page on GitHub where you can find um, a list of uh, freely available stun servers. 
um, let's pick just the first one from Google copy it and uh, let's go to let's go back to uh, sublime maybe enlarge the page and um, we need to paste what we just copied and substitute this part so stun and uh, copy our address with also the port it was the same already written in the in the file so it's fine and for the turn we need our public ip for the computer that is gonna run the application so in case in this case my computer when i'm recording so this is actually my public mm -hmm. address ip just look for what is my ip or something similar many many pages online can give you uh, your public ip that is not your local ip it's different and uh, mm -hmm. it's what is needed in order to access the <clears throat> um, in order to access from the internet your your computer so copy our uh, public ip mm -hmm. back to um <clears throat> back to sublime and let's paste it here so we have our public ip and the port we can leave everything else by as is by default and then um, let's move back to the folder and go back to the main folder of our project and then uh, uh, this time let's make uh, uh, a link to our exe maybe just clean it up and right click properties and here we need to insert in this area here uh, a couple of commands that will uh, allow us to run this exe via pixel streaming so <clears throat> if we take a look at the getting started guide uh, from the official unreal engine documentation and we go a little bit down these are the steps we already did and then we copied our uh, we create a, a shortcut for for our exe and then we can copy these commands here uh, so what these commands are doing is the first one is enabling let's see so we have the audio mixer it's enabling audio uh, so it allows us to stream also the audio of our app through the internet and then we have these two other commands where we need to put um, instead of local host that is the default key that works if we want to just run locally our pixel streaming app in this case we need to put our ip address in here and then we can leave the pixel streaming port at 8888 and just apply and uh, first uh, another thing before closing this one we need another command that's pretty useful so where it is um okay uh, i just remember it i don't need to copy it from here we need another command it's not mandatory but it's pretty nice it's uh, it's called render off screen and uh, okay this one allows us to uh, run our exe on this computer for example uh, in background so the the app don't do not actually open on this computer it's running on the background in the background and it's working totally fine 
through Pixel Streaming Connection, so it's perfect. Um, so now we can apply again, click OK, and we are done. Um, another thing uh, that blocked me uh, for a while uh, before understanding that I was actually doing everything good for setting this up but it wasn't working for me uh, be sure to go to the, your uh, router uh, settings on uh, via browser usually and uh, open both the 80 port and the 8888 port uh, through your router so in this way uh, we can um, actually connect and talk to other um, other devices over the internet uh, if you're not doing this uh, the connection is not uh, established to our stand server so um, Now we can go back to the source program pixel streaming web server signaling web server and start this run AWS with turn bat that is going just to execute what we just prepared in this PS1 um, file. Let's run it and in the meantime we can go back to the main folder and wait for the server to be up and running. I'm always getting some errors from Cirrus here, but in the end, um, I, I, I see that everything is working anyway. In the meantime, um, what I like to do when everything is set up and uh, I want to share my project with, uh, with others, is not to give them uh, exactly my uh, public IP, but I like to use services like no IP uh, that are pretty nice. Um, you just log in, uh, you have three host name for free uh, that you can manually renew every month and uh, you just create one give uh, to the host name uh, an address you desire and then um, it will apply this host name to your public IP automatically and this is pretty nice because I just created this one for the tutorial um, so you can actually send send out this uh, this address instead of your public IP it's pretty nice because it's more readable most more easy to use and remember maybe and also you can set it up I didn't in this case because I already did with another um, address I'm actually and act actively using every day um, you can configure your router to uh, connect to services like no IP and no IP will automatically uh, change the public IP connected to this address to this host name uh, if it uh, detects that the public IP of your uh, router is changed so we are done everything is good <clears throat> we are connected and uh, the stun server is listening to both ports. Now we just need to run the exe um, shortcut. You will see that the app is running in the background. It's not actually opening in this on this computer, but it's running here and <clears throat> streamer connected so we are actually streaming correctly through the internet and now if we open a new tab 
and go to the our IP public IP we can uh, actually play our game and it's working fine I saw that after a few seconds the connection the connection is like stabilizing and uh, the quality of the image it's also a little bit better um, so it's working pretty nice the input it's perfect um, so we can also try to use this address that is connected to our public IP and it should work exactly the same and then as a last test we can do let's try connecting through my mobile device my smartphone so let's jump on it so here we are on my mobile uh, I just wrote the um, the same host name we just created on no IP uh, just refresh just to be sure click to start and then play and here we are in our game we can also go to landscape and then we can <clears throat> enlarge the display if we want to fill the whole uh, screen uh, or just keep the same ratio of the original game and we can also minimize this interface and it's working pretty nice the image quality is pretty good we are really having fun with our uh, game uh, streamed from our home PC I also disconnected the mobile from my Wi-Fi so I'm actually in a different network running on 4G and streaming directly um, in here so the mobile test works pretty nice let's go back to the desktop now so this was how to set up pixel streaming in 4.24 uh, for remote access um, I hope that the video was helpful to you and please please leave a like subscribe if you liked it uh, for more content about Unreal Engine, Blender and uh, CG art in general um, follow me also on other socials and uh, see you in the next one bye